Hey y'all, this is Southern Woods here, and once again we are going to be ranking fast food chains. But instead of the chains themselves, we are going to be ranking their logos. Now the, note this is my personal opinion, uh, so don't take what I say fully to heart, but I'm going to be ranking them from worst logo to best logo, and just like last time, I'm going to only be doing fast food chains that I've been to, so I'm going to stay away from the ones that I haven't been to or that I'm not too familiar with. So with that being said, let's start with number 20. So in last place at number 20, we have Dairy Queen. Now I will say I like this logo better than their old logo, which is pretty uncharacteristic of me to say. But I don't know why, but I just think the logo looks kind of odd, kind of wonky. Um, it's like it's trying to be simplistic, but at the same time it's doing too much. And I'm just not a huge fan of the color scheme either, and I don't know. It just doesn't give me the feels like other logos do. So at number 19, we have Culver's. Uh, pretty simple why I do not like this logo. One, it reminds me too much of the Ford logo. You know, similar blue background, white writing. Yes, the font may be different, but when I look at it, I kind of just think of a Mustang or a F-150. And if y'all know, I don't like Ford either, so... Uh, it's ranked pretty low on the list. It's not a terrible logo, but it's too reminiscent of a car company, not food. So at number 18, we have Crystals. Uh, not a bad logo. I think it's kind of stylish, uh, simple, but not um, too simple. I like how the bottom of the K sort of swoops all the way around to the L. I like the little yellow thing going on on the top of the Crystal logo. It's not bad, it's just at the same time, at the, it's kind of bland, and it's not as iconic as other logos, but I do like it. It's not bad, and I think if it reminded me more of, like, fast food and not something else, maybe it'd be up there more, but it's just, it's alright. Not bad, but it's alright. Alright, now we're at 17 with Subway. This is one of the fast food chains that had just recently gone through a logo change in the past five or so years. Uh, basically, it was just a color scheme change. The sub used to be white, I believe, and the way used to be yellow, and now the sub is yellow and the way is green. Um, not a bad change. I think it was sort of unnecessary. It doesn't really uh, sway my opinion in this case. Um, Again, not a bad logo. Uh, I like how they have the sub, uh, the beginning of it with an arrow and the end of the way with an arrow. But it's just kind of boring. Uh, pretty boring logo. And yeah, I mean, it's just boring. <laughs> and that's why it's ranked so low. It's not a bad color scheme or anything. It's not terrible. It's just too simple, too boring. So at number 16, we have Chick-fil-A. Uh, I really like the writing in the Chick-fil-A logo, and I really like how the C is a chicken, and the color scheme of just that red and white is really good. Um, it's a decent logo. Uh, I would rank it higher, except, I don't know, I really enjoy logos that are more logos and less just the writing out of your company name. I, I know Chick-fil-A does it pretty well with the a uh, nice font and the C being a cute little chicken, but you know, it's just it's not as much my style. Uh, that's why again, like Subway was ranked so low, but not not bad. I just wish it was more of a logo and less of just the company name. But for just the company name, they do it really well. All right, y'all rolling in at the number fifteen spot is Checkers or Rallies, depending on where you are. Um, this would have been a lot higher if they did not change their logo. I like the other Checkers logo a lot better, but this one's okay. Um, I think the checkered background in this one's a lot worse because in the other logo it was black and white. Now it's sort of covered by this redness. Uh, the Checkers font is pretty good. I like that. I don't, I don't know why it's oval shaped. 
Uh, I don't really like the oval shape uh, logo that much. I like how they have the little slogan on the bottom. That's all right, but I don't think the yellow goes with the rest of the logo. I just think it's kind of mismatched. It's uh, poorly shaped. It's just crap compared to the other logo they had. Uh, not a huge fan of this new one. Change it back and maybe you'll be top 10 checkers. So at number 14, we have Popeyes. And as I said with Subway and Chick-fil-A, I really don't like the logos that has just the writing out of the company name as their logo. But Popeyes takes that and making it look nice to a whole nother level. I like the font. It's simple. But at the same time, it's eye-popping, it's big, it captures uh, your vision. And just the basic orange and white color scheme. You don't see it too much, but at the same time, it's very nice, very easy on the eyes. Uh, stands you out from other people. Very nice. If you're going to write out your name as your freaking logo, Popeyes knows how to do it. So at number 13, we have Dunkin' Donuts. I really like this logo a lot. I like the color scheme of the pink and the orange and then just a little bit of brown for the coffee with a white background and a white cup. I think that's a brilliant color scheme. It's unique, it's eye capturing. Same with the fonts, kind of like Popeyes. It's sort of that big, simple, but eye capturing font. Uh, and it's not just the name of the company. You have a little coffee with a uh, D&D &D on the side with a little heat to wave from the coffee cup. Uh, just very simplistic, but at the same time, a good bit going on. Not too much going on. Uh, really good logo. Really like it. Um, there's just not that much nostalgia feel for me. And I feel like their logo is better. But for 13, I praise this logo. So at number 12, we have Starbucks. Uh, pretty iconic logo of these days. Uh, pretty popular the last 10, 15 years. And for good reason. It's a pretty darn good logo. Uh, pretty basic color scheme with the jungle green and the white, but it goes really well. Um, very detailed logo with the different uh, design patterns going on within it from the crown of the mermaid to her tail to the hair to the face uh, very detailed but not too much it flows very well um, it's just one of those logos that you look at you don't think anything of it but you can look at it up close and you know really tell that there's some style some detail and some hard work put into it uh, pretty nice uh, looks good on some coffee cups so riding in at number 11 is Bojangles. I really like the Bojangles logo. Um, again, it's one of those I say I don't like where they just write out their name. But like Popeyes, they do it really well. Um, instead of being simple, but I capturing like Popeyes, uh, this one's slightly more detailed and has a little bit more going for it. They got the yellow background with the uh, red writing, uh, a nice font really with a little uh, mismatch in size and angles uh, speaking of angles is in Bojangles but anyways I like the little touch of the star over the J in Bojangles uh, I just think it's really nice uh, unlike Chick-fil-A and Popeyes where uh, the writing is the only color and it has a white background this one the background's yellow with the red writing and there's just a little bit more uh, stylistic uh, effect to the font and just the nice touch with the star over the J. Uh, I just I like it a little bit better than the Popeyes and the Chick-fil-A logo. Now starting off the top 10 is Sonic. Now I'm pretty sure Sonic just recently changed their logo to something new I think um, but since I haven't really been seeing it at any of my local Sonics yet I don't believe I'm gonna roll with the old logo. Um, but if I was doing the new logo, it would be like probably number 15 or something. I, I don't like it. It's too simple. Uh, but this this logo, um, it's, it has an okay color scheme. The red writing, the yellow, and the sky blue in the background. Not the best color scheme ever. 
the reason why it's ranked so high is mainly a nostalgic feel. Uh, it just there's something about seeing the Sonic thing on a road trip or just passing by that really gives some good feels. Um, but just based off the logo itself, it probably would be uh, a lot lower on the list, especially the newer logo. But just this one has a very strong nostalgic feel for me, which just propels it to the number 10 spot, but not any higher. Uh, so there we go, that's Sonic. So at number 9, we have Arby's. Now Arby's is a very nice logo. I like it. I like the red and white. Um, but unlike Chick-fil-A where they have red and white, Arby's actually has more of a logo appeal to it. Instead of just a chicken on the sea. It has a whole dang hat around it. It has the hat on top and the bottom part of the hat on the bottom of Arby's. And it looks pretty nice. I think uh, it flows well. Uh, it's not too funky. Even though I think the hat itself is supposed to look a little funky. It's just it's smooth. It's not bad. Um, I think the font of Arby's could be a little different. I think they could change that if they wanted to, to something a little bit less blocky and clunky. But overall, uh, it's a pretty nice logo to look at. It takes just writing out the company name and adding a bit more to it to actually create something that looks like a logo instead of just writing out your company name. Um, so... This is why the color scheme outdoes Chick-fil-A, because there's just more to it than uh, chicken on the sea. And this looks good to me. So at number eight, we have Burger King. This is one of the few logos that I think the newer updated logo looks a lot better than the old one. Um, I know one of the older ones was, you know, the burger, actual looking burger with Burger King in it. And I don't know, there's something about this one, it just really pops. There's still the burger, you have the buns on top and the bottom of Burger King, but they're kind of glossy, they pop, they capture the eye. The Burger King logo, it's not just uh, straight, it's sort of slanted, same with the writing. The writing's simple, but yet sort of big and eye-popping like Popeyes, and you got the blue just wrapped around the whole thing. I don't know what it's for. But it looks nice. It's a wonderful color scheme. It's colorful. It's eye popping. It's iconic. And it's one of the things that these days Burger King does right. Because they don't do much right right now. Which is why the rank's so low on my other ranking of the actual fast food chain itself. But y'all have a pretty good logo. Pretty iconic. Pretty nice. Easy on the eyes. Way to go, Burger King. Made top 10 on this list. So at number seven, we have Wendy's, another fast food chain with an updated logo, something new. But in this case, I like it worse because I prefer the old one more. Uh, if it was the older logo, it'd probably be top five, but they went for a more simplistic logo, which I get it. It's the trend these days, but I think they went a little bit too simple. I mean, I still like the, the writing of Wendy's. It's a nice font, like always. It's red with a white background. And then you got Wendy up there, uh, same old Wendy with the uh, the blue little tie things on her hair. Sorry, I'm not good with female terms. Uh, the redhead hair, the freckles, the smile. Uh, good old Wendy's still there, and the Wendy's font looks good. Uh, overall, pretty iconic logo still. Uh, but I like the I like the older logo better. Um, if y'all haven't seen it, go look up the older Wendy's logo uh, and let me know what y'all think uh, because that, that's one of the things you'll see in this video. I either really like new logos or I don't like them as much and it tends to be I don't like them as much. Uh, but yeah, number seven, Wendy's, still iconic, still very nice, flows well, looks nice. So at number six, just outside the top five spot is Zaxby's. Another fast food chain with an updated logo, something a little bit more uh, simple. Uh, this one I'm a little bit more neutral about. Uh, I, I want to say I like the older logo just a little bit better, but I get the move. Uh, one of the biggest differences between the old one and the new one is that the chicken is simple. Uh, there's not as much detail in the chicken because it's just a white silhouette around the red circle. But, you know, it's not a bad logo. I like the font of Zaxby's up top, and that is blue. It's red, wine, blue. It's kind of patriotic. Um, 
and there's you know different shapes going on with the chicken and the circle and then above you got the fine I don't know it's I still think it's nice it's pretty clean um, uh, it's still you know not as iconic as Wendy's or something like that but it's still nostalgic to me and I think it looks well on their branding like their cups and stuff like that um, something that I don't think Wendy's looks as good on uh, so they do it well I still think I like the older logo better but it's still pretty clean goes well it's simple but not too simple and the silhouette of the chicken is nice I think that's what saves it so next up making the top five we have Hardee's or Carl's Jr. depending on where you're at um, this one pretty nice uh, it has a pretty decent lovely color scheme with the white writing this time and a white background with red outlining the whole logo and then you got yellow for the little slogan on the bottom and for the little happy star up top uh, I think it's pretty unique having the writing being white and then sort of the outline being a different color um, not many places I feel do that uh, Culver's does but they look like Ford uh, I really like the font, sort of that cursive, but you can still tell what it is. Uh, pretty fancy, but at the same time, simple. Um, I like how they have the slogan. I don't think slogans are bad on logos, as long as it's uh, not too clunky, taking up the logo, or uh, messy. This one, I think it's nice. It sort of swoops down the bottom. You know, they got the charboiled, thick burgers, not bad. And then the happy star. Uh, on top of the Hardee's is pretty iconic uh, makes you feel good inside uh, makes it feel welcoming uh, which is something not many logos do is really makes you feel welcome sort of like Wendy's um, but a nice little happy star nice happy logo very smooth very nice clean uh, almost too much but just enough to where it just looks really good so at number five is Hardee's all right, so at number four is Church's Chicken. Probably the most detailed, loud logo on the list, but I think it goes very well. You have uh, in sort of a swoopy form, a decent font. You have the churches, uh, and then the C wraps down on the bottom, sort of makes a swoop, and within the C, you have chicken. Um, and then up top you got star and on the bottom you have since the date they were formed and I don't know there's a lot of different colors with the the blue sort of outline on the font and around the whole logo and then within you got the red sort of outlining the the detail within that which is yellow and then the font itself is yellow just so you got yellow red blue going on and you know, at first it just may look like a lot, but there's a lot to look at. There's a lot of detail, which I appreciate in logos these days. And I don't know, it just looks very nice. It's sort of iconic. Um, I think it's just a very strong, powerful logo, logo that a lot of uh, places are lacking. And I don't know, it's just something about it. I don't, I've only eaten there like twice, but uh, I look at it and I'm like, that's a good logo. And that's a good logo right there. Being a lot, but just enough to where it's not chaos. And just giving you a lot to look at and a lot to ponder over. Good job, churches. So at number three, we have Taco Bell. And Taco Bell is lucky that I refuse to accept their new logo right now. Because if it was their new logo that they just changed it to, it'd be one of my least favorite logos it has a decent color scheme, but I hate it. I love this logo. This logo is iconic. One of my favorite logos, obviously, number three. I hate how they changed the new logo. Hate it, hate it, Taco Bell. You suck balls. Why would you change it? This logo is iconic. This logo is a late night logo. This logo speaks volume. Why would you change it to something as lame as the new one? Something that does not go as well on your products. Change it back change it back now I refuse to accept it and that's why you're at number three still but if I did accept it you'd be at like number 18 because that sucked that was stupid the worst logo change in my opinion but let's talk about this one because this is one I like this is one I love this is one that is at number three wonderful scheme with the weird pink purple with the little yellow bell at the bottom and the blue around it and the blue font 
I think the font is basic, kind of boring, but at the same time, I think I think it goes well. I think it writes well. I think it's nice, and I really like the bell design up here. And there's always that theory about the bell uh, part, the yellow part, being like a a snake eye, like a serpent eye. Um, a lot of conspiracy theories around that. I don't know why you would take that away. That gives you fame, popularity, gets you out there. And I just, I like it so much. I like the glossiness of the bell. I like the design. And it just, I don't know why they would take that away. But I like this Taco Bell design. It's simple, mysterious, great fun, awesome. Uh, not like the lame, new, clean cut one that they tried to do. It was just too boring, too simple. Blah! Take it back to this one. I like this Taco Bell logo. It's awesome. So at number two in the runner-up position, we have KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I love, love, love this logo. Now, if you remember on my last video, KFC is my least favorite fast food chain. But I love their logo. It's about the only thing they got going for it, in my opinion. I love the mixture of red, white, and black. I think it goes superb together. Um, it's not minimalistic. There's a lot of detail in Colonel Sanders. He's a smiling old man. You got his goatee. I like how, you know, his skin tone's just slightly more pink than the rest of him, so you can actually tell the difference between his white hair and his skin and his glasses and the hair and his suit and his apron, just all of it. There's a lot of detail. Um, and, you know, the background's red with the, and, you know, small writing next to him, KFC. Cool font, too. Uh, it just it goes very well together very uh, very nice a lot of detail um, some people say it's creepy uh, some people say they don't like looking at it. they don't like Colonel Sanders looking back at them on the merchandise on the branding but I like it Colonel Sanders a cool looking guy on their logo I think it flows well together I think it speaks volume uh, a lot of detail very nice very slick uh, fun to look at uh, just a very great overall logo. And at number one, we have the GOAT, McDonald's. If you say that the McDonald's logo isn't the most iconic, um, legendary, uh, most well-known, popular fast food logo out there, then you're lying to yourself. Um, this logo is everywhere. Uh, this logo is the most simplistic best logo out there just the yellow arches they added the red background recently i think but even then there is no other logo in fast food and almost no other logo probably except for coca-cola that is as iconic as worldwide well known as mcdonald's um despite what you think about mcdonald's you may think it's nasty you may think it sucks whatever you think this logo, you know, it is a logo when you think of fast food. It is the king logo. There's there's almost nothing to it. It's just the golden arches that make the M in McDonald's. They're yellow, golden, and the background's red, but it is just iconic. It's, it's just the goat. <laughs> um, you know, you can't not have this at number one if you're ranking fast food logos just from the aura it has just from the presence it has just from the feelings it gives almost every single person who ate mcdonald's as a kid and for that reason it's number one i just can't put it any lower it is the best fast food logo for so many reasons and that is the conclusion of this video i hope y'all enjoyed let me know in the comments down below whether or not you agree with my choices where is McDonald's on yours? If it's not number one, as I said, you're lying to yourself. But maybe you like Chick-fil-A at number one or number five. Or maybe you like Culver's and you don't think it looks like a Ford logo. Whatever you think, put down in the comments below. Let me know if I'm wrong, if I'm right. If you want to see more ranking videos like this, let me know in the future. Um, I hope to do many more. I kind of enjoy these. So, yep, that is the video, the top 20 best fast food logos. Thank y'all. Southern Woods out.